Behold. Behold the field. people good morning welcome or welcome back to the Seattle Sierra YouTube if it's your first time visiting me hi welcome I'm Sierra I'm an American who lives in England and I share videos of my family's life here um, in today's video as you guys can tell we are at a very exciting place we're at a pumpkin patch and this is Sarah you guys have met Sarah before I have Sarah and little man here with me where's little man hiding okay we, we were trying sneaking off it yeah it didn't <laughs> little man hush now little man's here with me mister is over there i think waiting at the entrance to the pumpkin patch but we're at kenyan hell farm today because we're going to do a really fun pumpkin themed fall video day today it's gonna be really exciting there's a massive shop here there's a farm shop and a huge pumpkin tunnel um just full of all different kinds of pumpkins that you can buy if you want to visit the pumpkin patch you do have to buy a chicken in advance which i did online so we're going to go and get in, in a few minutes but this is so exciting and look what I found. I found these, which I have not found anywhere in the UK yet. Maybe you haven't looked hard enough. But I think it's a kabocha, or like a Japanese pumpkin, or it looks like, definitely smells like a Japanese pumpkin. So we're having pumpkin curry this week, and I'm really excited about that. But anyways, we're gonna go inside the pumpkin patch, and we're gonna check it out. Look, it's right there. Yeah. What do you think? Are you excited about the farm? Is it too sunny for you? Yeah. <laughs> That's mud. He's complacent. I hope it's mud. Yeah, it's, it's listen. <laughs> With a light hot say it's mud. Yeah, I am on a farm, so I wasn't sure what I stepped in. Yeah, well, uh, you know. Live in denial. Yeah. It is amazing! Look at all the pumpkins, guys! Wow! Look at this one. It's a whole lot of pie right there. I like the Barbie ones. I get it. It's just to match with your outfit. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. 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 What? What is a heart? You're right. Oh my gosh. I didn't notice that. That's cool. It is a cat, isn't it? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> Teach her how to get in trouble, Aunt Sarah. Uh, like, <laughs> so what are we gonna do? You guys are too busy doing good stuff. <laughs> Look, it's another one. I was gonna say, like the pumpkin. We keep finding pumpkins in the pumpkin patch. It's ironic, isn't it? I know, right? <laughs> I don't know how we could have. <laughs> I don't know. We did find a plot. We did find a slug. Yeah. Look, it's a pumpkin. It's very squishy on the top. Okay. Do I want to touch it? Do I? Do I want to do this? Part. Yeah. Okay. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Scratch right there. Okay. Look at all the pumpkins. Oh my gosh, it's so sunny out here. I'm glad I brought my sunnies. Look. I think I found so one. Whoa. Aunt Sarah already found a pumpkin. Well, I found one I'm not getting. Look, look, for real. Let me see. I kind of want to. I kind of want to touch it with my foot. Do it. Do it. Oh no, no. <laughs> oh, this one looks nice, though. Yeah. This one looks nice. This looks one good. is not squishy. That's nice. It's very pumpkiny, except the stem is like growing the wrong way. But that's okay. Do you think it would be a good soup? Uh, probably. The mud's very squishy here. I like it. It's really fun. <laughs> Kid yeah, hearts. what'd you find? Let me see the tiniest pumpkin in the whole patch. <gasps> oh, it's really cute and tiny. Yeah. We could probably take that one home if you want to. If it's not rotten, we'll have to check it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can check it. If not, we, we can find another tiny one. We're not taking that one. We're not taking the squishy one? Probably not, no. Yuck. Take it out. Which one are we taking? Which one we're not getting? Okay. I'm taking that one out. Which one? That one. That one? Why not? I like it. <laughs> I respect that. Love. Did you find one on the vine, Daddy? Pick. <laughs> Ooh, it's kind of gross, though. It's a very nice pumpkin, though. To be fair. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Pumpkin. Yeah. I just can't. Like he's just too cute. Whoa! Don't find all the pumpkins. It's on the vine, so I'm gonna pick it. Do it. 
three, two, one. Da, da, da. Also, I think I'm now officially um, a YouTube uh, camera person. Assistant. Assistant. It's actually a really good one. I like how it has a little bit of green too. I, I'm gonna say that's a very satisfying pumpkin. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna last a little longer too because it has the green on it. I feel like we can rate it, I think 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10, definitely. Solid pumpkin. We're gonna have to like go through all the pumpkins to figure out which ones we actually wanna keep because yeah. there's just like way too many pumpkins. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like this is a... A glut of pumpkins. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. Well, if we fill up the wheelbarrow, we can just unfill it up. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And like I said, have all the other good ones we didn't want. Exactly. <laughs> it's the it's the January sales shopping technique. It's the fact that it was like Sierra does the same thing in the January sale. <laughs> follow Sierra because we're gonna have time for um, Sarah's amazing camera work um, guess which one of us is a youtuber and which one isn't yeah don't pick it yet wow it really is a corn okay. it's a green corn no it's yellow I think it's yellow corn not sweet corn but they have both that you can pick here any corn experts know the difference? Yeah. <laughs> You've got to get something out of it, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, dude. Whoa, look at those pumpkins. That feels like a pumpkin collision waiting to happen. <laughs> yep. That way. Which way are we going? This way? That way. That way. Okay. Whoa. I picked wrong. I picked wrong. There's a vine right there. It's very easy to fall on it. Just so everybody knows. Just everybody knows. Like, <laughs> if, you come, if you come to Kenyon Hall, there will be a vine. Look, it's a pumpkin. Look, it's right here. It's beautiful. It's a right. <laughs> We're not buying all these, I don't think. We don't think yet. It's really for the children who, who, are, who can't walk this far out to get a good one. Exactly. That's what it's really about. <laughs> It's about thinking of the children. There should um, be a pumpkin song. Is there a pumpkin song? Is there a pumpkin song? Over the garden wall, I think has a pumpkin song. Okay, how's it go? Um, it's not a pumpkin song, it's an autumn song. Look, there's a little tiny one right there, look. Look at the baby. That's a good baby. Yeah, that's a really cute one. Right. And we officially made it, I think, to the end. Yep. I feel like this is how maybe Frodo felt. I'm very muddy. That's fair. Hey guys, we're at the farm still. This place is great so far. Uh, we were in the Pekka Patch, as you guys saw before, and now we're sitting down having, well, Aunt Sarah's having an infusion. I'm having a ginger cake. I actually ate most of it already, but I'll take it out to show you. It's the only vegan food that I saw in the farm shop, but it looks like this. It's like, I mean, it's a ginger cake, but it's really, really delicious. It has a ton of sugar, so I don't know if I'll actually finish it, but I want to. I don't know, we'll see what happens, but it's like, I thought it would be like more gingerbready, but it's just like, you know, a ginger cake, but it's delicious, it's really good. But there's a little play area here for the kids. Little man is actually washing his hands after eating his entire piece of cake, um, and he's gonna play for a bit. And then I think if it's still open, we're gonna go do some corn picking, and if not, I'll let you know what we're gonna do next, but I don't know. Aunt Sarah, what did you think of the pumpkin patch? Um, I loved it. Yeah, it was that your was, first time, right? Yeah, I was gonna say that it was baby's first pumpkin patch. Oh, and you know, you've lived, you've been to this farm before when you were a kid. I mean, to be fair, I think I was about six, so. And your mother didn't take you to the pumpkin patch. Exactly. Um, and clearly there's been a entire hole in my heart ever since. Well, now you've found the pussy in the pumpkin patch and you figure out what it's like to step in a gross pumpkin, so. Exactly, um, and I that's clearly resolved in some like long seated childhood trauma. <laughs> there you I'm go. missing out. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you to take care of that today. <laughs> this is delicious. You guys are here. Definitely try this. They also have oat milk inside. And if you book way ahead of time, you can get a vegan takeaway um, after dinner tea if you want. We just missed it. But anyways, we'll see you guys in a bit. We're going to go pick the corn now. Very exciting. Little man, are you excited to pick the corn? No, you just want to shoot me with your pumpkin shooter. Yeah. Fine. Corn. Pumpkin Woo, shooter corn. laser wand. I'm excited to pick corn. Aunt Sarah, are you excited? I'm excited to pick corn. Woohoo! You just pull it off. 
well, you have to be gentle, but you just take it off. What do you think? Yeah. I'll show you, when we find a good one, I'll show you how to pick it. There's one right there. Wow. Yeah, and just take it down. Then now from there, from the bottom, pull it down. Just like that. Woo, baby's first corn. Good job, babes. Woo, that's a good one too. Hey baby, have you ever picked corn before? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, ready? Daddy's first corn pick. Woo. Yeah, just pull it straight down, yep. Look at that corn. We're in the corn. I am the corn. We are the corn. Did you get a corn? Let me see the corn. Wow. You gonna put it in there? Ah. Look, it's corn. Ah. <laughs> She's got her hole. Yeah, you might be just about done. It's getting heavy. Well. Mm. You having fun? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Are we gonna cook it? Yeah, I'm gonna cook with it. With beans? We can cook it with beans. Yeah. No. Um. Do you have butter? Not with me. But we do have butter at home. Yeah. You wanna cook it with butter? Mm -hmm. We can do that. That's fine. As you guys can see, we're back in the car now, and we're down at Sarah, because we had to take Aunt Sarah to the train station. But we're on our way back from the farm now, and feeling very, very tired. My feet are a little bit sore, being like in my wet wellies and sweaty wellies all day. But it was a really good time. Mister, what did you think of the farm? It's a farm. It's a farm. It's not his favorite thing in the whole world, but it was really fun. Hey, little man. Hi. Hi. What did you think of the farm? Um. The farm was fun? Yeah. And what was your favorite thing about the farm? Met. Get. The maize. Picking the maize or picking the corn? What? Picking the corn? Yeah. I know that corn and maize are different, but he calls it maize because I think there's a board game that we play that it's called maize and not corn. But anyways, um, maize is a type of corn, but whatever. Anyways, we're on our way home now. Um, really, really tired, but overall, Canyon Hill Farm, for me, I would say five stars out of five. It was really fun. Um, if you're in the area or if you're looking for a farm that doesn't have animals on it, if that's something that you're concerned about, highly recommend. They do have some animal products in their farm shop, which is kind of sad, but one thing I like actually about the farm shop a lot is that next to it, well, not next to it, but there's like two sides. There's the cafe and there's the farm shop. Inside of the farm shop, there is kind of like a completely zero waste shopping area but within their freezers there's like waste free shopping where you can like pick and mix things you want to get like there's different pastries and dough and things like that and there's also um pa package free bread that you can get just like in a paper bag or you can bring your own flour sack for it which is really cool um my favorite thing i've never ever seen before in the freezer is you can actually like pick and mix frozen fruit or not pick and mix but like you can scoop your own frozen fruit into a container which they didn't have any containers on site but i wonder if you could bring one and like weigh it and use it but that was really cool also they had homemade bread as I already said in the store and they had some oils and things that were available which is really neat if I live closer I would definitely shop there a lot but an hour and a half is kind of far for a regular grocery shop but overall a really fun day I highly recommend so I hope you guys enjoyed this video like subscribe before you leave and I'll see you guys in the next one thank you guys for watching bye